So the FBI has officially announced that they are closing the investigation into cocaine found at the White House. And the problem is, is now they're claiming that they have no idea who left the cocaine there. This is very problematic. Now, there's a chance they might be telling the truth, but there's also a chance that they could be hiding something. And this gives everybody on the far right the opportunity to come up with conspiracy theories. Here's what we know for sure. Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, the immediate Biden family, were not in the White House uh, within 24 hours of when this cocaine was found. Hunter Biden and Joe Biden were out of state. So that's number one. The problem is this is supposed to be one of the most secure places, not only in this country, but in the world. And you're telling me they didn't have cameras there in that area? They couldn't find out who left the cocaine there? I find that hard to believe. So this is a really bad look for the Biden administration. It's a bad look for the Secret Service. What if this powder was something else other than cocaine, something that was more dangerous? This stuff just can't happen. It makes the White House look really, really bad. And again, it gives the right wing buffoons out there an opportunity to come up with all these conspiracy theories. The FBI, the CIA, the Secret Service, all these people needed to find out no matter what it took who left the cocaine there and bring them to justice, whether it was an intern or a tourist or somebody within the Biden administration, somebody needed to be held to account for this. They weren't able to do it. And now Republicans are going to salivate about this and continue to talk about Hunter Biden instead of the real problems facing the country, like health care, like maternity leave, you know, issues like minimum wage, racial equality, gender you know, equality, whatever the case may be. More important issues facing the country. And now Sean Hannity, Fox News, the Laura Ingrams of the world are just going to continue to talk about who left the cocaine there, who left the cocaine there. If any of these people want to continue to talk about it, just tell them it was Donald Trump Jr.